my Sunday morning is usually I get here a little early because I like to sit in a place I like with a cushion. <laughs> I have been going to church since I was two years old and rarely miss. <laughs> my parents were very adamant. We went through all the learning of church with confirmation and all that. And then we still went to church as a family, even after we were in college. And no one forced me, I, I needed it. <laughs> it was reinforcement of things that I felt, things that I had learned, my Christianity. And every Sunday when you were surrounded by other people that shared the faith, shared things that you wanted to do together, or things like that. It was just a wonderful feeling to always come into a familiar place and know that you were going to be refreshed in your faith and in your feelings about things. And I think you need companionship, com camaraderie. You can be a Christian and not go to church, but you lose a lot of the interaction or things, you know, you're, you're by yourself. You come to church and people share. If someone's having a hard time, then you can go talk to them. And, they, and I like that. If I'm having a hard time, I like it if somebody comes, I'm so sorry you're, you know. When my husband was so sick with his cancer, and then when it eventually passed, it was very nice to have a lot of friends. Well, sadly, that was in the year of the COVID, and we couldn't even have a funeral. I got cards from many, many, many members of the church. And that's, you know, you reinforce that you got all these people that are in your corner. It was really good because all of them are my Sunday morning friends, you know, so to speak. And it was nice they were sharing their feelings about things and hoping that I was getting some help, you know, from family and friends and others and to help comfort. I love the fact that we have such a bunch of kids that are doing what they're doing for other people in the summer when they do take their trip out there. And I admire Kelly amazingly for all the work that she does with that. But I, I was so involved in my youth group as a kid and uh, how much I got out of that. And it hurts me to see some areas, some churches, that their youth barely even come to church and don't have these other things that keep their, their calling to the, to the Lord, you know, that they, they know why they're doing these things. And, and uh, it's just wonderful. And I will support them until I run out of money. <laughs> because I think it's terrific that they get these, these opportunities to share their faith and to share some common help for people that can't help themselves.